it's time for a tire test. And I've got four tires from two different manufacturers, Proline and J Concepts. We have the Proline Trenchers right here with the Three Brothers RC Anti-Foams. These generally stay on the Ecto. Right here, we have the J Concepts Ruptures Green Compound. These stay on the Capra, and that's what we're using for this test. There is no overdrive in that Capra, by the way. Here we have the J Concepts Tusk Green Compound. These right here, you've recently seen on the Rebicon, right here. Now, these actually have the Alt Foams in them. Yep, the Alt Foams from Germany. Proline Crawlers. These right here have a uh, Crawler Innovation Foam, and these generally stay on Optimus 3. So we're going to put all these on the table, get the weights of everything real quick, and head right out to the concrete ramp. Guys, let's get to that table. This is going to be a good one. We're going to go ahead and get all these weights done and get these things right outside. And by the way, this is also part one. This does have the battery in it. Let's get this balanced up. The chassis without wheels and tires weighs in at four pounds, 13 ounces. Let's get to these tires and that does have the battery. The trenchers come in at one pound, nine ounces. The tusks come in at one pound, 11.7 ounces. The crawlers come in at one pound, 7.8 ounces. And the ruptures come in at two pounds, 2.5 ounces. They are the heavyweights. We're gonna start with the lightest tires and that was the Pro Lines, followed by the trenchers and then you had the J Concepts tusks and then the ruptures. We are at the ramp right here guys. Check this thing out. At the very top is 62 degrees. We've been to the 62 degree mark. We've been to the top of this thing. We've been there. All these tires at some point has made it, but how tough is the ramp today? This thing changes. Now, as far as the drive goes, I'm gonna do my best to hold a good steady throttle. When I see that the vehicle has stopped forward momentum, I'm gonna give it a few more seconds and see if it actually gets up and goes again. I don't know how long these runs are gonna take, but you know what? Let's get the crawling. Crawlers are up first. Let's kick this off with those Predators. Let's see what we got here. I'm gonna try to get on up here. It should make all that pretty easy. I'm gonna just try to hold it as best I can for some good, steady crawling. Let's see what we got here. CI Racing Foams. Alrighty. Looks like they're kinda holding up right there. If I don't see any movement, any progress, you know, give it a few seconds or so to, if there's anything on the tires, I clean off, but it'll work. I've got this much room to work with, so I'm trying my best to, to use it all. Looks like we are at a good honest 34 right here. Let's see what we got, Let's see what we got. Tires are holding pretty well down in there too. Let me see if I get a side shot of this. Yeah, it looks like about 34 is going to be it for the uh, Proline Predators. Ah, I thought I saw 35. I'm trying to do my best to get this all the way up. Yeah, I'm, yep, we're going with, 30, with 35. Here we go with the trenchers. And yep, I'm changing everything out right here. Try not to let temperature change or humidity or any of that stuff play a role here. So trying to keep everything as even as possible, which is hard to do because none of the tires are kind of the same or they all have different foams. Looks like we are cruising pretty well here. We're looking at a good, honest 38. Tires are working pretty darn good. All right. Look at that. Looks like we are at, oh boy, we're moving, we're moving. Looks like 
43, maybe right at the 43 mark. Now we're in the 29 crack there. If I can get a little bit closer and so I can hold the. Yep, I'm looking at right at 43. Yeah, I'll give this a 43. Does not look like we're moving. Looks like we're just gonna sit there, but 43 is pretty good. This ramp is tough today. That it is. So we're gonna go ahead and finish this one up. I'm just kind of trying to make sure that's it. So, yep, 43 is it. Let's see what them tusks have got. There we go. Moving right along. This should be a pretty easy job right through here. So we're gonna go ahead and bring it down about right here and get back to the crawl. Let's see, now these have, okay, these are kind of wanting to stall a little bit, but uh, we've got, these have the alt foams on them. Like they are wrinkling pretty well. And we are at about the 36 inch mark right here. Let's see if I can work this a little bit. Try not to get wheel speed RPM up. Try to make the tires do the work, get the job done. It's looking like 35 is doing pretty darn good. Tell you guys, sometimes I can go right off this ramp. And then you get on it and it's a bear. Look at this, we're almost at the 43 mark. Let's see here. A good honest 43 right there when I see this thing not wanting to move I'm going to cut it but we'll work the angles and see if we can get this thing to get on up it does not look like it's going to make it past about 43 though looks like that is oh there's an honest 44 Honest 44, it made it past the 43. They are trying to get this climb. Man, it's just crazy seeing the difference on this ramp at different times of the day it almost. I mean, that, that's why I'm doing everything, you know, so close. But that's a good honest 44. Uh, 44. Five. Good honest 45 right there. Uh, there's a 46. There's a 46. Look at this. Come on, guys. Come on. Get that hook. They are working. Look at that. They are working. Okay, so do I need to end it at 46 or 47 maybe? Oh, they're trying so hard to get that 47. I almost have to think so. <coughs> wow. Man, they're trying to get 48. Look at that, 48. Got it. Oh, man, they're making it to the 37 crack. 49. Come on, guys. Crawl, crawl. 49. They're trying for 50. They're trying for 50, guys. Uh, I think I'm going to have to call it. Okay. I guess we're going to go with uh, 40. We'll do a 49 on that. Good run. It's rupture time, guys. So uh, let's see what these things could do. I mean, these are also not technically legal. So. But anyway, let's see what these things can do here. All right. Try to keep my speed under check. All right, we got a little bit of slippage at 37, but it's heading right on up past that. We're looking at 40, 41, 42, 43, 
44. Just to show you guys, I'm not pushing it. 46. Now, these foams are definitely a little bit stiffer. What I need to do is take them out and soften them up. I mean, I've got other options with these. It's just, I've not got them to it, but we're at a good 48 right now. There's an honest 49. Can we make 50? Can we get 50? We are at the 37 crack right there. So, oh man, I'm pretty sure we've got the win right here. Come on, baby, crawl. Try to keep it right on there. Oh, man. I don't see quite 50 on this. Maybe 49 and a half, maybe. I don't know. Hold up a second. I think we did get 50. They have not given up yet. They're trying. They're trying. They're trying. Oh, we're at 51. We're at 51. There's 52, 53. Wow, we're at the top crack, guys. We're at the 53 crack right now. Is that gonna be it? Is that gonna be it for the ruptures today or are they gonna to continue to climb? Oh man, they're doing really good. That's a good, honest 53. This is the win, without a doubt. So this is the win regardless, but uh, give it a few more seconds. I think they are pretty much about done. So, I mean, I'm kind of thinking 54. They are trying. All right, guys. We're going to go ahead and finish this one off with a 54 for these. Let's see if I can turn it a little bit and see if I can get... Oh, man. I lost my throttle. Oh, well. I guess we'll go with the 54. I saw that pretty good, but kind of curious if I can walk this thing around a little bit. Nope, 54 it is. This was not expected. I, uh, I'm really surprised at how this worked out. Um, Predator Crawlers. These are one of my most favorite tire, and it only went 35 inches. Wow, um, the back of the pack. Crawler Innovation Foams. And here, the trenchers, which you guys have seen these work exceptionally well out there. Um, these right here, 43. With the Three Brothers RC Anti-Foams. They did pretty darn good, but third place. And J Concepts pretty much, pretty much cleaned house. We've got the tusks right here with the alt foams. <laughs> uh, 49 and a half. I had to give it that half. Uh, wow. And then you have the ruptures at 54. None of these were so close to where half an inch mattered. So pretty much it was pretty clean as to where these things faced. When I... It looked like they were done and they were falling back or just completely stopped. I stopped. If not, you melt these things down, right? But right here with the crawl RC foams, RC crawl foams, these got the win. Question for you guys. Number one, if you're still watching, you're fabulous. You are awesome. Since the ruptures are not scale, not scale legal, do we allow them to move on? Because I've got four other tires. Four other tires do the exact same test. And only the top two move on. And then we have the finals. So, do we let J Concepts take it all? Or do we get the trenchers in here? The crawlers are out. They're out. So, you guys comment. Do you... Um, I'm kind of thinking... My own personal thoughts is we put the tusk and the trenchers, we move them up, okay? It's because these are illegal. They are not Sorka legal. We save these for a uh, tire off. What do you guys think? Comment down below on that. 
I'm curious, do I just simply move the uh, J Concepts forward or that? I mean, the top two move on, that would put the J Concepts, but the wild card, illegal. You guys comment down below. I'll read your comments and see how this thing goes, but it was pretty darn clear which one went the farthest. Guys, check that description. I'll link up all these tires right here down below. Make sure you check that out. They are affiliate links. They help out the channel. AMA and eBay, Amazon, Horizon helps out the channel. So guys, check that description. Use those links. Let me know what you think on this tire test. Take these out of the running and have it as the final showdown. Or just simply move J Concepts forward. Guys, thank you all for watching. If you're still watching, you are top shelf. You are the cream of the crop, the pick of the litter. You are phenomenal. Thank you for watching to the end of the video. It means a lot to me. Now, down below, there are links for the products you see. Also for channel memberships, if you guys wanna be a part. Channel members get early viewing on pretty much everything that I can. So guys, check that description. There's a lot of info down there. Thank you all for watching.